Rachel Garso with the On Your Side forecast. It is 519. Happy Monday morning, everyone. What a weekend we had with all that sunshine and that heat. Speaking of heat, these are current temperatures. Poor Phoenix cannot catch a break. It's 93 degrees right this minute in Phoenix. Very comfy for us in Boise at 66. Salt Lake City is right now at 73 degrees. Look at Bismarck, North Dakota. It is cold. 43 right now compared to 93 in Phoenix. Hard to believe some of those temperatures. And it'll stay a little bit cool up in areas like Bismarck, Minneapolis, Chicago, Detroit. Only going to see highs in the 70s. But then there's Phoenix once again at 113. Even Salt Lake City, if you have plans to head south today, prepare for some heat. 100 degrees expected there. Not much off of our 98 that we will see for Boise. And that UV index, this is so important to keep in mind as you're out and about in the heat like this. We're at a 10. That is about as high as we can get. 11 or higher puts us in the extreme category. 10 is very high. That means limit your sun exposure from 10 to 4 if you can during the day. If you have to be out, slather on that SPF 30 or higher. Cover up your skin if you can. Keep a lot of water on hand and just try to limit that time outside uh, if you can at all. If not, again, sunscreen and as much shade as you can find. So hot today, high pressure still to our south, but this is what we're keeping an eye on. That's going to actually change our conditions over the next several days. We have cooler air that's going to move in from the west as it does, though, and mixes with the hot heat that we have here at the surface uh, from the last couple of days. That is just a prime recipe for some thunderstorm activity, and that is likely what we will see this afternoon. So by about four or five o'clock, we'll see some clouds start to move in. So today, even though it's still going to be up in the upper 90s like yesterday, it may actually feel a little better by this afternoon because that cloud cover will roll in. This is seven o'clock or so tonight. We could likely see some thunderstorms pop up, isolated, quick moving storms across the valley. And then in the next couple of hours after that, we'll see the mountains get some storms much more severe up in the central mountains. By tomorrow, we'll have temperatures drop by about 10 degrees or so. We'll have lots of sunshine again tomorrow, but by about five o'clock tomorrow evening, still enough instability around to warrant some more storms possible in the central mountains, possibly in Owyhee County as well throughout uh, tomorrow evening, but temperatures will just be much more bearable for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Now we have that high pressure that will rebuild, so the 90s will make a return, but we'll get a few days break after today. We'll be very hot today. 96 for Vail and Ontario, 97 for all of you in Caldwell and CUNA. Scorching in Mountain Home, 99 degrees, mostly sunny skies. But again, as those storms roll in, we'll see the cloud cover develop. And it may be one of those days that looks threatening, but even if it's not stormy right where you are. Up in the Boise Mountains and the Central Mountains, very, very hot. 93 for Council, 97 in Riggins. A little more comfy in the Long Valley, mid to upper 80s there with those storms rolling through this evening. 86 in Stanley, 90 in Fairfield, 86 in Sun Valley. Valley as well. Chance of storms in the East Central Mountains a little bit slimmer, but it's still out there for this evening. And here's that extended forecast that shows that drop into the upper 80s tomorrow. Much more comfy. Look at that Wednesday, Thursday, beautiful mid 80s, lots of sunshine. Then the 90s are back come Friday.